hello guys welcome back to my channel with all my hair please if you're new consider subscribing and if you're an oldie welcome back home in this video i'll be showing us how to make neem powder at home but before then i would love to share some benefits of neem powder to us one neem powder conditions your scalp it promotes healthy hair growth it temporarily seals hair follicles suits freeze it minimizes grays reduces dandruff and treats head lice. Applying neem paste on the scalp has also shown to have positive results as far as hair growth is concerned. Take dry neem powder and slowly pour water in it until you get a grainy paste. Apply it carefully across your scalp using your hands and let it sit for 30 minutes before washing off. So guys, without further ado, you know how we do it. Let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing we have to do is getting our fresh neem leaves from the neem tree and our local language it's called the Goyaro. So you get your neem leaf from the tree and then you take it off the stem, you take off the leaves from the stem like so. This is how you take them off the stem and then you proceed to washing it. After washing, you have to dry for 3 days, either directly under the sun or in a room temperature. But I prefer drying in a room temperature, so I'll be drying mine for 3 days. Sorry guys, I skipped the day 1 video, but there are not much differences from the day 1 and the day 2. So this is actually how the name leaves looks like after drying for the second day. Remember, I prefer drying under room temperature. I'll tell you why I prefer drying under room temperature. Keep watching. Okay, guys, so this is actually the third day of drying our neem leaves in a room temperature. The reason why I prefer drying in a room temperature is because I don't want the nutrients from my neem leaves to get trapped by the sun. I don't want all the nutrients to get trapped by the sun. And so, if you actually want to leave your neem leaves are completely dried, if you pick your neem leaves, you'll be able to either crush them or squeeze them with your hands. That is how to know if they are completely dried. Okay guys, so this is actually where the work comes in. I'll be making use of this manual blender to blend my neem leaves. If you actually have the electric blender, you can use it and besides it will save you lots of stress so guys this is actually the first stage of blending i would be blending this for like four to five times before the final stage so keep watching Okay guys, so I'm done blending. I told you I was going to blend this for like four to five times, so which I actually did. And this is the final result. This is the final outcome. So the next thing I'll be doing is to sieve my neem powder and I'll be using this smaller sieve or colander. You can actually use the bigger one. I'm using the smaller one because my neem powder is actually small so if you're making a large quantity of neem powder you can make use of the bigger colander or sieve so guys this is actually the point where you forget about the stress and the work you put in to making this neem powder especially if you made use of the manual blender this is how our neem powder looks like so i'll be transferring our neem powder into this container bottle for future use i'll be storing it or saving it up in this bottle for future use please guys kindly do let me know if you would want me to share a video on how i make use of my name powder thank you so very much guys for watching my video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification button right beside the subscribe button to instantly get notified each time i post a new video and 
don't forget to be kind and generous to one another yes i'm always using don't forget don't forget because i really don't want you to forget remember god is watching until i see my next video i love you guys bye